Uh, Donald <laughs> Trump, as you guys all know, has been in court in New York this week for a $250 million civil <laughs> fraud trial brought against him by the New York Attorney General Letitia James, where she accuses Trump, his son Eric, and Don Jr. and the Trump Organization of decades-long scheme of overinflating values of his many properties. It's all BS. Uh, it's another. Uh, it's election interfering, but a tactic. We're not going to get into that. I think he has 90 charges now. It's at yeah. the point. Well, it's at the point where, even if you hate Trump, and you're dumb, you know what? Hmm. Can't go. All right, something foul is afoot. Right. I'm going to look at you right in your face because I know I have haters out there. You're an idiot. Hmm. You're an actual just. Uh, you're an idiot, okay? <laughs> That's somebody going after a political opponent, which is, you know, cheating, okay? So yep. all you guys talk crap about cheating, this is cheating. The judge in the case, Democrat judge Arthur and Goron, one of the creepiest looking dudes, like this guy looks like a guy that 100% of the like, hey, listen, we're gonna go to Epstein Island. He's like, I'm in! This yeah. is the type of look. Um, <laughs> he put a gag order on Trump, by the way. Look what he does, Kelly, when the camp, by the way, He's on MSNBC when the cameras go to him. Brady, picture this, guys. You are on trial for your life, basically, because you could go to jail forever. For sure. What do you, what do, you do if the judge does this, Kelly? Can you show oh, that yeah, courtroom yeah, yeah. one, Kelly? Yep. Look at this. They will be thrilled. And that's the problem. Trump ain't, that, ain't laughing. You know, you look, look. Now being look, watch this. The background. You've hey! Got Trump in the look at me! I let, me let me watch this. Hey! Let me smile. Trump is likely let me right. smile. Let me smile because I'm a douchebag. Scumbag. Let me smile because I'm a douchebag. Well, you know what that is? That is evil. Yeah. Laughing yeah. and smirking your he's, face. He's a dork. The Brady, a complete dork. Brady, that's, that's negative energy yes. going. Dude, that's Bill Gates stuff. That's look at me. That's Bill Gates smirk when he looks in the camera like this. Yeah, yeah, and he goes, yeah, yeah, man, you know, well, you know, I, 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 don't get me, I, I, I hate him, but um, that's the cabal smirk, like the smirk, 100%. like oh, like I could just uh, try him for nothing. They actually Look did, and, like that get away with it. And but didn't they say also that 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 judge said if he doesn't like what the jury does? Oh, yeah. You told me that. That's yesterday. what. Well, that's this oh, is this is going to Christie, but no, it's okay. No, I get it. Uh, Christie sent me the clip of this very same judge saying what you're just saying, but that if a jury gets the verdict wrong in cases that he's presiding over, he can overrule them, guess on what? Not on facts, on his emotions, okay? Sh Kelly, roll that one, please, my love. Dude, look at this freaking oh, guy. Can you imagine oh, that's your God. dad? I'm gonna say something yeah. controversial, Listen, even while I'm being taped. Yeah. Juries get it wrong a lot. That's my <laughs> own opinion. Listen. I do only civil trials, personal injury cases, contract disputes. But I've had situations where like, oh my, my heaven's sake, Look. how could they have thought that? Oh, Well, I have a, um, I have a tool a that tool. I can deal with that. Watch. It's called jury notwithstanding the verdict, judgment notwithstanding the verdict. I can say there is no possible way that a reasonable jury would have reached that conclusion. Yeah. And all right. Am I following the law or am I making Guys, law? Guys, this, is this isn't oh, a wow. sketch. I'm, I'm, I'm following law. I'm, I'm an impartial referee. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> but it's hard to factor out my own emotions. What the? And I have tools. Somebody can say, well, Your Honor, you have to throw out this case because it's just like another case. Well, is it just like okay. another case? Dude, Mike, cut this guy off. Cut this guy off. Okay, so, Christy. You see something like that, where he not only states at the beginning, yeah, I'm, this is gonna be controversial, I know I'm getting recorded, but, and he still proceeds with saying that, which by the way, you know what he's saying? If the jury of this person's peers who came up with a decision, because that's what the law is, right. he doesn't like it, he can invoke that privilege and do that. What do you, what do you think about that, Christy? I liked how uh, Trump responded. What did he say? Indict the mother effer. Indict the mother effer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He said, oh, yeah, Brady, he's like, if Brady. they don't like you, he just goes, indict. indict that and mother. Because he's like, that's what, that's their attitude towards him. I love him. that. Yeah. No, I think it's ridiculous. I think it's kind of like the whole, remember when, when we actually respected facts? Yeah. And we're like, facts don't care about feelings. This mm -hmm. is the same thing. The law is not based off of your emotions. It doesn't change based off of how you're feeling that day. Does it scare the law you? Is the law. Does, oh, it absolutely. Chrissy, does it scare you that a judge, which mind you, are in all these all these districts, all these all these mm -hmm. states, they're one hundred percent leftist, demon looking people like this guy that guess yeah. what? Hiding Once they got sight. the judges in their back pocket, they got the Senate, they got this, 
You have zero chance right. of beating these people. What are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do? Like, Brandon, what's up? And then Brandon, yeah, so, um, you know, even if Trump goes to jail and is sitting in a jail cell, he could still run for president and become president I from hope a jail to God. cell. So let's not rule that out. Orange, you know, like, orange would be the new like, orange. And how badass would that be? Is that like, like a Lula type of situation, even though Lula sucks? Like Trump yeah. like becoming president from a jail cell. And then, you know, the, oh feeling the wrath of him as president after them putting him in a jail cell, which I think that would happen. Like, you know, if they because this guy's blatantly saying that, like, yeah, it doesn't matter what happens. I'm going to try him no matter what, even if the jury says no. And he's got that cabal arrogance to him. And, and, and Brandon, shouldn't that guy, shouldn't that be like a case enough to be like, no, nope, time out. Yeah, in like a normal evidence. world, yeah. That judge is gone. This yeah. is a mistrial. Well, yeah. they do that with in the jury, too. They do that with the jury, too. They always ask you questions to make sure that you are impartial, that you are not biased yeah. when, before you walk in. They need to do that with, they should be doing that with yeah. judges as well. This you, is clearly showing blatant bias on, like, where he's kind of leaning. Hundred, well, it's, so it's they need obvious. to bring someone else in, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Brady. I'm, I was going to say, do you think these people, when they go in, they become jurors, do you think they're coached now? Do you think that they, Brandon, do you think like they tell them, you can have your opinion or you can have, you know, but do you think now, is there really a jury anymore? I, I mean, different ahead. with the Trump situation. You know, I think everybody puts like law and order aside, like, especially on the Democrat side, because they're so frantic and crazy about this whole Trump thing that they're putting everything aside just to try to uh, get him out. It's, it's, l listen, it's, it's, I know I mentioned it, but this is, this is for all the people out there that, if you can't admit to yourself right now what is happening right now in our system with the with the presidential with the election everything, like guys, the hell Trump's go Trump's gone. He's gone four years. He wins. He loses. I don't care. This is bigger than Trump. Okay, they're setting up the system. They're showing you in your face. Mm -hmm. They're laughing in your stupid face that they can do what they want when they want mm -hmm. to whoever the hell they want. Yep. And this is just the 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 precursor. This is the he's the sacrificial lamb. Yeah. If you guys you know, think you. What? what are you no, sorry, say? I was gonna say that guy, that the the judge too. He looks like every psychopath that makes that makes the big the big decisions. Well, Joe what? Biden looks the same. He looks. They the, all look they scary. They all look the same. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the zombies, yep. dude. No, and and, but, and so, and here's my thing in closing, guys. If you care about democracy and these these people that always threaten to democracy and all that BS saying that you just keep hearing and you keep repeating, you have no idea what the hell it means. You need to wake up. Okay, because I've said this before, it's Trump is just the first of many. And if they could do that to this dude, trying to say that Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million <laughs> and he's, guess what? Why aren't the banks suing Trump for defrauding and doing all this? Because guess what? It's a sham. And for all you people out there that were just, oh, Trump and hating, if you're not opening your mouth right now and you can't at least admit and just say out loud, say it out loud and admit it like, guys, holy, this is bad. This mm -hmm. is bad. Then you are part of the problem. You are part of the problem. And guess what? When we go down as a country, it's your fault. And I swear to God, I will walk around. And I, what's that saying? You shouldn't, I don't like to say, I told you so. Guess what I'm going to do? When every, when all the fire, when the shit's going down, I'm going to say, hey, guess what? Told you so. Told you so. Told you so. And I, guess what? And I'll wear that shit proud because enough is enough. So if you like this clip and want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire show, click right here.